going on guys? Fresh Brooks here and today I'm gonna to be reviewing set 70418 the JB's Ghost Lab. This set contains 174 pieces and is recommended for ages seven and up. This is a new hidden side set. I've wanted one of these for a while. Um, but yeah, so let's get started with the minifigure. Uh, first minifigure we have up here is Jack. Um, this is a pretty cool minifigure. Um, he has a hat and a hood on. I believe this is a new hat and hood piece combo. Um, anyway, um, we'll take a look at his torso first. He has a nice, um, jacket print with some buttons and some pockets. He has a pant, he has something on his pants too. I believe that's like, I don't know what it is. It looks like a dog bone. And then right here, he has a new phone with a new print on it. I believe this is a Samsung phone because I was looking at, um, oh, come on, focus. Because I was looking at um, JB's phone, and it looks like it's an iPhone. So, yeah, but that is pretty cool. There's a little Easter egg there. Uh, they included a Samsung phone and a... Uh, and a... Um, iPhone. So anyway, that's pretty cool. But anyway, um, let's take a look at Jack's other face print. So in the front, he has kind of that angry one. And right here, he has that happy one. So anyway, that is pretty cool. Um, but anyway, let's get on to JB. Here we have here is JB. She has a nice torso print with Frankenstein on it. She has a belt buckle going across her chest. She has a name tag on her leg, so that is pretty cool. Um, but anyway, her phone too. I'll show you, you what I meant by like iPhone. Um, right there, focus. Maybe it'll focus. But anyway, if it doesn't focus, uh, yeah, it's not gonna focus. But there's a little spot right on the top, and it's black. And it has like those cameras that are on the front of the iPhone and the speaker. Um, but yeah, so that you won't be able to see because won't focus and it's really really small but anyway um if we take a look at jb her hair she has some goggles on it but we'll take a look at her other face print which is kind of looks like she has like mud on it kind of looking weird um anyway jb has some mud on her face and she looks like she's like chewing gum or something but anyway that's pretty cool minifigure now let's get on to Mr. Elton. Anyway, here, next minifigure here we have is Mr. Elton, M. Elton, or Sir Elton, whatever you want to call him. That's the names on the uh, packaging. Um, This is a pretty cool minifigure. Um, yeah, he got like a Target shirt on. He's a name tag. It looks like he's a mechanic. Um, But anyway, um, it says he comes with this potion piece as an accessory right here but i'm just gonna keep it on the set because that's where you're supposed to keep it in the instructions um but anyway so if we take a look at uh mr elton's other face print it looks like he's kind of scared um but yeah it looks like he's kind of scared and he has band-aid on his face oh but anyway it comes with an extra head to show what mr elton looks like whenever he's in the hidden side so i'll show you that face right here so anyway, that is pretty cool. He has green hair, and it kind of reminds me of the Ghostbusters. It looks like, I don't know, just kind of reminds me of the Ghostbusters. Like in the Ghostbusters HQ set, I believe, they had a pink ghost, and it had a face like this. But anyway, um, if we turn the face, I believe there's another face print. So let's do that. If I can even get the head turned around. The hair piece is stuck. Okay, uh, we'll be back right and like anyway, here's process. Mr. Elton's other face print for whenever he's in the hidden side. Um, this looks pretty cool. It looks like he has fire on his face or something. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. But anyway, let's get on to the actual build. Anyway, last but not least here, we have Spencer the dog. Um, he's pretty cool. I guess he's a ghost dog because he's transparent. Um, it's kind of transparent on the bottom. But anyway, this is pretty cool. Just wanted to show this off. But anyway, um, yeah. Let's get on to the actual set. Hold on. So, I don't know if I could get it all in frame, but right now there are my TV cords. Just excuse those. Um, but anyway, so we have the uh, laboratory here. So, anyway, let's take a closer look over here real quick. 
So right here, um, it looks like it's kind of a scale, kind of, but it looks like a vault. And if you spin this, you got different colors. You got magenta, I believe that's called, uh, or uh, some kind of pink color, but I don't know. You got black, you got yellow, and you got blue. Um, anyway, there is a wayer, I guess. There's this wheel piece, and then there's these two arrows. And then there's this, I guess, like this is meant to, like, if you want to twist it and lift it up like a vault. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is kind of like, it's kind of like, reminds me of like the, if you go weigh yourself at the doctors, how they have that like thing that goes like back and forth. That kind of reminds me of that. And that's why I think it's a weigher. Um, but anyway, let's go to the next part over here, which is the switches, which is actually like where the minifigures can stand. So right here, we'll use Mr. Elton as an example. You put the minifigure right here. And then I guess like you could reenact like, like maybe uh i don't know turning them into i have no idea but anyway here you got some switches so those are pretty cool and up here you got some like satellite dishes i guess if that's what you want to call them and those look pretty cool you got a sticker right there which makes it look awesome anyway coming down here um that is pretty much it you got some I guess you will call those hazard stripes. Uh, those are what those look like. Sorry for that cut right there. Um, but anyway, so right here we have, um, yeah, JB the, no, what's his name? Mr. Elton. I keep getting those names confused. But anyway, here we got Mr. Elton in the thing. Um, but anyway, let's move over here. Which we get to see kind of a laboratory, I guess, if you want to call it that. If you want to call it that, you got a piece of you got a pizza right here, which looks pretty cool. It looks kind of tasty to be honest, but I don't like pepperoni and all those toppings. We got um a 3D printer type thing right there. So that's pretty cool. We got a wrench and kind of a workspace. So we'll put that up. Walk over here. We could put uh JB right here. Gotta get rid of the phone. Oh wait, by the way, you can't have this up. You gotta just leave it right there. So anyway, you could have a worker right there. Or, like, somebody that works in the laboratory. You could put them right there. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Also, you get that keyboard piece right there, which looks pretty cool. Um, but anyway, also, you get some of these pieces. I guess they're supposed to represent, like, potions or something. But anyway, let's get on. Anyway, here's the back of the thing. Nothing really here. You got a sticker, which is, like, a brain, I guess. Maybe that's, like, how they're getting to the hidden side or something. You got a ladder here. And that's pretty much it. You got this, uh, I guess, pull string piece type thing. And it runs from the top of the, uh, I guess, I don't know what to call it, container. And it goes down here. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that is pretty cool. But anyway, let's show it off in the Hidden Side app. What happens whenever you put it in the Hidden Side app? Okay, guys, so right now we are in the vertical. We are in the app. And sorry if it's in the vertical um, place. That's just how this app works. But anyway, it says, hey, I'm JB. I need your help. The time is full of ghost. The ghost only show up on the hidden side. Take a look with this phone to see the ghost. See the gloom? This phone can clear gloom and catch ghost. Ready to become a ghost hunter, kiddo? The old play said you keep on ghost and solve mysteries by tapping on the hunter's side. Don't be afraid to see what the hidden side is like too. Tap on the ghost haunt Newberry with phone. Hunting ghost or haunting Newberry. What side do you dare play? Guess this. No, I don't want to talk to Discord people. Okay, now it says, who, boy, Newberry is 100% haunted. Take a look at the hauntometer of is it's off the charts. You could de-haunt Newberry by playing with the new Lego set you built. Find yourself on this list. Ghost Lab. Play. I'm ready. Okay, that, I guess this is the loading screen, and we'll hit start. Oh, here's my setup. Scan the set. Start by matching the shape of your set. Okay, let me turn this around. Oh, it lights up too. Okay, scanned it in. Oh, look, it builds in the app too. That's cool. Oh, they're attacking my set. No! Clear the gloom. What does that mean? Place is totally gloom. 
Oh wait, they want me to twist this? Hmm? Okay, what? Change colors. This cap. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Find the gloom. Look at the gloom be. Okay, I don't know where the gloom is. Gloom reveal. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Tap. Keep missing. I'm terrible at this. Yes. Red Luigi. Okay. I didn't know that was red. I thought it was like a pink color. But it's red. Find the glue. Guessing it's this. Oh, glue revealed. Okay. to change it to any more color. Okay, let's do this one. Error. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Scan blue. Okay, find the glue. Oh, I got the glue. Jesus. Oh, glue. Oh, that was quick. Uh oh, you do go in the spot, but someone's still going here. I need to put a minifigure there. Uh, we'll put uh, Doctor Horton, whatever his name is. Okay, put him there. Got it. Scan the minifigure. Warning. Okay, wait. Let's have You earn enough tokens to open one of my very special capsules. Tap to open it. Okay, I guess we're done there. Uh, I guess it's going to open JB's uh, capsule. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how it worked in the app. But anyway, let's get on to the rest of the review. Here's the box. Um, you can see all the information down there. And it said, if you look closely, I thought this is kind of funny. Smart device not included. Like, what Lego set would include an iPhone? Um, but anyway, you got a pretty cool box art. It shows the ghost side and the hidden side. Um, anyway, if we take a look at the back of the box, you can see that there are some, um, stuff for the sets. You got, like, some play features and stuff. But anyway, let's get on to, well, first let's take a look at the manual. And then we can get on to my opinion. So right here we got the manual. Nothing really good here. You just got, uh, the two bags. The hidden side app advertisement, how to use it, JB, stuff like that. I, I keep calling them JB, sorry about that, guys. But anyway, here we got the first bag, and I believe at the back, 
there is an ad so let's flip all the way to the back and take a look at the back okay so i must have been mistaken oh wait there is an ad i believe that's the same picture that was at the front of the manual and next page no more advertisements so yeah but anyway let's get on to my and opinion here's my final opinion on the set it's good it's fine the set if they didn't do the app that would be fine with me because i don't like this stuff where they do with the app hidden side is an amazing theme hopefully i could get my hands on some more sets to review from hidden side um anyway that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed today's video oh yeah i give this set like i mean i don't know I don't, i'm not good at ranking stuff like out of 10 so anyway this set is amazing in my opinion let's just go with that but anyway that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed today's video and as always fresh breaks out